Chapter 10 Dividend and Interest Question 4 Distinguish between 4 marks each 1. Final Dividend and Interim Dividend 1. Meaning Final Dividend is a dividend which is declared and paid after the close of the accounting year. Interim dividend is a dividend which is declared and paid between two annual general meetings. 2. Who declares? Final dividend is recommended by the board of directors in the board meeting and declared by the shareholders in annual general meeting. Interim dividend is declared by the board of directors of the company in the board meeting. 3. Authorization Declaration of final dividend does not require authorization by articles of association of the company. Interim dividend can be declared by a company only if its articles of association authorizes its declaration. 4. When declared. Final dividend is declared at the annual general meeting of the company. Interim dividend is declared between two annual general meetings of the company. 5. Rate of dividend. The rate of final dividend is always higher than the rate of interim dividend. The rate of interim dividend is lower than the rate of final dividend. 6. Source. Final dividend can be declared out of different sources like current year's profit, previous year's profit, free reserves, capital profits, money provided by central or state government, etc. Interim dividend can be declared only out of the profits of the current accounting year. 7. Accounting Aspect Final dividend is declared after the preparation and finalization of annual accounts of the company. Interim dividend is declared before the preparation of the final accounts of the company. 2. Dividend and Interest 1. Meaning Return payable to the shareholders for their investment in the share capital of the company is known as dividend. Return payable to the creditors or lenders of the company namely debenture holders, bond holders, depositors, banks, etc. is known as interest. 2. Given to whom? Dividend is paid to the owners, that is, members of the company. Interest is paid to the creditors, that is, lenders of the company. 3. Obligation. There is no obligation or compulsion to pay dividend. It is to be paid only when company earns sufficient profits. There is an obligation or compulsion to pay interest as it is not linked to the profits of the company. 4. When payable. Dividend is payable when the company earns sufficient profit. Interest is payable irrespective of the amount of profits earned by the company. 5. Rate. Dividend to equity shareholders is paid at a fluctuating rate as it depends on the profits of the company. Rate of interest is fixed and determined in advance at the time of issue of the securities. 6. Resolution. Final dividend requires a board resolution for recommendation and an ordinary resolution at the AGM for declaration, while interim dividend requires only board resolution. Payment of interest does not require any resolution to be passed at any meeting. 7. Accounting Aspect Dividend is considered as an appropriation of profit. Interest is considered as a charge against profit.